Hello, everybody. It's Dark Side Phil. I need that money to pay my bills. The electric bill, the internet bill. Stupid fucking trolls, man. I just want to chill. I rock back and forth on the X and Y axis. Tip me. So I could catch up on back. Naughty Dog is going to sell you The Last of Us 1 again two consoles later. It's the same time frame, the same time window of NES to N64. It really is. They're going to charge you full retail price for this game. Okay? But it's the same game, the same story, the same mocap, the same elements with some minor tweaks. Okay, yes, the graphics look better. They, they put in a new graphical engine. All right? Definitely, if you look at the models of Ellie or Joel, there's more detail to them. They look more realistic and more gritty. Okay? But if anything, when you do a side-by-side -side comparison of the PS3 to the PS5 versions of Last of Us 1, it's a testament to how good this game looked on PS3. Other PS3 games didn't look nearly as good. This game already looked superb on PlayStation 3. It's not that big of a jump. I don't care what anyone says. You want to know what the real difference is? The lighting the shadows, and the level of little details on the models. Not the models themselves. It's not a giant leap. They added in a few other elements to make it look pretty, right? It would be like the original Star Wars films with added pretty visuals because we all know how well that went. All right, that's a horrible comparison. George Lucas ruined his original trilogy, and that's unfair. I don't think that this one's going to ruin Last of Us 1. That was terrible. It's completely unfair, hitting below the belt. Neil Druckmann is not... Uh, George Lucas. Yeah. But anyway, um, the point I'm making here is, really, the point I'm making here is, they're reselling this game at full price. Two console gens later. Alright? Same game. Yes, there'll be some new gameplay elements. We don't even know how well those will be implemented. And another thing that no one seems to be talking about and no one has really asked about yet or gotten a straight answer what about the accessibility features of The Last of Us 2? The sonar system and all of that. Will that be in Last of Us 1 now? If not, why not? You're charging full retail price as if this is like Last of Us 2. So why, you better have it. Why not? If you don't have it, what's your excuse? Besides, this is a cash-in, right? Now, I absolutely, absolutely would support this game being sold at a full price to people who need those accessibility features if it's in it. Then I could justify it. But if it's not in there, now they don't even have a leg to stand on, in my opinion. Okay? I hope that the reason that they're charging what they're charging for this is because they had those accessibility features transferred over. I really hope so. Okay? And I will say this, if anything, because I've been saying, gee, what kind of people should buy The Last of Us 1 on PlayStation 5 for full price. Well, if you've never played Last of Us 1 at all, then I guess why not? Right? Why not? But get the best version. I mean, I think it's expensive for a game that's this old, but get the, be get the best version of it. Right? Um, if you need the accessibility features, then get it. Get this version. Okay? Anyway, the real story I wanted to talk about today has absolutely... Uh, nothing to do with, with, with this argument. There's two new spins on the story. The first spin that I have is about The Last of Us 1 remake. It's sold out already. <laughs> yeah, so I think it was the PlayStation website or something. They, they officially put up pre-orders for the limited run deluxe edition of the game called Firefly Edition. $99.99. Not even the $70 version. They put up a limited... $100 version. It's sold out in one hour. Completely sold out. Alright? So it's funny because yesterday we're all talking on the stream. And you know what it is? It's kind of an echo chamber. I know that. My streams are an echo chamber. A lot of people kind of agree with me when I make these kind of points on stream. And a lot of people were of the impression yesterday, wow, this game is not worth 70 bucks. Who in their right mind would buy it for 70 bucks? And I'm like, yeah, I, I agree. That's what I feel. Um, <clears throat> well, apparently a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people actually want to pay $100 for it. And I said this yesterday. I said, it doesn't matter what we say. It doesn't matter what we believe. As long as this game has the hype behind it that Last of Us 2 did, it will sell in droves. And I actually feel this will be um, a bestseller this year. I feel that way. In fact, all of social media yesterday went crazy for it. 
There was insane amounts of posts, news stories about it. They're covering this like it's a new release. It's not. It's the same fucking game you played on PS3. Literally, it's the same game. But they're acting like it's a brand new game. And I'm like... <clears throat> gaming is just weird. It, it, it's just odd. So Grand Theft Auto gets released and re-released and re-released. And now we shit, we shit on them. We take big steamy dumps on them, right? There's a new trailer. Oh, Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming out on PlayStation 5. And people go to the trailer on YouTube and they downvote it and they leave big stinky assy code turds in the comments. Oh, you're, you're scraping, you know, you're fucking reselling, you're, you're nickel and diamond. Fuck you, Rockstar. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Make Grand Theft Auto 6. Fuck you. Oh, The Last of Us 1 is coming out again for $70 on PS5. Oh, thank you, Mr. Druckmann. Thank you, Druckmann, my lord and savior. Thank you so much. We've been waiting to spend more money on Last of Us for two years. and We couldn't. Now we can give you more money. <laughs> I don't know if the reaction could be any further different. And I don't know the difference. I don't get the difference. 